I did it. These are the last two bags that were in the trunk of my car. This is my last Goodwill outlet haul of 2020, November 2020, that I've been carrying around in my trunk for months. So embarrassing, but let's sort through it and separate um, the whites and the colors and get it ready for a very deep clean wash. All right, let's do this. I have my gloves. Um, let's sort through these bags it's probably gonna be a new haul for me because i don't remember what i got i do remember this this was a pokemon um this is a fitted sheet it's not like the loose sheet but i think there was a hole somewhere in here yeah there's a hole but still i think somebody could use this for fabric like to make to repurpose it like i've seen so many cool videos on tiktok about people repurposing sheets for dresses and skirts so we're gonna wash this. I got this cool UCSB Gauchos hat. This is my alma mater. I'm a gaucho. So uh, as soon as I saw this, I picked it up. This does have some staining, so I'm gonna treat it with some laundry stain. This is from the 99 cent store. It's $1.99 only because it came in the little spray bottle. But like the regular, the regular little green bottle is just 99 cents so i'm gonna spray just like the yellowing and let it soak for a little before i throw it in the wash oh a georgetown law hat i love picking up like university here because i feel like it does well like people are always looking at it, especially like the vintage harvard sweaters and things like that so <coughs> oh shit i shouldn't be spraying this here <coughs> it's kind of strong let's see what else Ooh, Gymshark, some Gymshark leggings. Oh, I'm so bad. Yeah, these need to be washed. They don't look like they're stained, but they just look, they also need a little bit of peeling. So I'm gonna go in this pile. Okay, this is a Sailor Moon costume dress. I thought it was cute, so I'm, you know, anime is always all the rage. It does have some peeling, but you know, sell it as is. Go with the white. Oh, this cool Keith Herring style. It's a Keith Herring print, but there's no tag. It was cut out. So this cool Keith Herring crop top. Obviously, somebody cut it up, but hey, I think it's going to sell. It has some pit stains though, so we're definitely gonna spray that and let it soak. It's not as is. And then these page denim pants. I mean, these, I think there are some spots. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this in the wash. But I think I'm gonna wash these by hand because they are red, so I'm scared that the dye is gonna run. So I'm gonna hand wash these separately. Okay, cool. So one bag down. Another bag to go. This one's super cool. It's a vintage Laura Ashley jumpsuit. Nice, like, typical 80s colors. Has a spot, so I'm going to spray it. And yeah, throw that in the wash, in the color wash. I did find a lot of vintage that day. Well, a few, like 90s pieces. This is a vintage, another like 90s jumpsuit. It's kind of like wide leg. Mm, it doesn't have any stains, but can I spray it? Oh, like on the neckline it does. Ooh, that's strong. I don't remember it being this strong. Mm. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is a little kid's Stella McCartney kid dress. So 
put them in the trash. Oh, I found this really cool, like, senorita-style jumpsuit. Nice. Oh, I, I think this one, yeah, this one was damaged, but I think I'm going to fix it. It needs to be hemmed. That's all it needs to, is to be hemmed. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to color wash. Washed. Another t-shirt. This is Maui Brewing Company. I thought it was a cool print. So that's going to go in the wash. Another t-shirt. Oh, this is a DreamWorks Entertainment. So probably like a production t-shirt. Also super stained. Hi, Tanya. Ooh, somebody worked hard. Super yellow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to let this soak. I'm going to add some OxyClean to the wash and let it soak for a bit. Another t-shirt. This is a champion. Notre Dame t-shirt. Has pit stains. Oh my god. Hopefully they come out. We'll see. If not, then I'm gonna do another t-shirt lot. Started at $9.99 and see where it goes. So the last two are no three are t-shirts. Let's see. My reality is just different from yours. That's gonna go with the color. Another t-shirt. What is this? Beyonce. <laughs> This is the bootleg t-shirt. And then the last one is a Coors t-shirt. Coors light. Cool. So, I'm gonna get that all washed. Okay, so continuing with the spring cleaning, this is one of the vintage dresses that I have to clean. I've already washed it once. I soaked it with OxyClean, but I've been having a lot of trouble with this dress because it's so stiff. I'm not sure if it's like, I don't know if it's dry rot. I don't think it's dry rotting. I mean, I rinsed it thoroughly twice. I let it air dry, I steamed it, it got a little better. So now, and then I noticed it has a lot of yellowing. Like, I'm not sure if it's like a rust stain, but like, this is the, this is what we deal with as vintage clothing resellers. Like, not everything we find is ready to steam and list. Like, we have to put a lot of work into restoring these pieces. So there's a lot of yellowing here and obviously like a lot of true vintage collectors like expect things like this. But this one's like a little too much. See, so I need to put in some more work. Um, but yeah, some people buy items as is flawed because obviously they, you know, they love the piece. But we're going to put some love into her and try and remove those stains as best as we can. Oh, yeah. Here are some of the tools that I'm using. I'm using the OxyClean gel stick. Um, I love that it has these little knobs that you can scrub. I'm also testing this <laughs> carpet stain lift. Like, I don't know, I might be ruining the dress, but I saw a girl on TikTok talk about how carpet um, cleaner helps with yellowing and like pit stains and things like that, but you just have to be very careful with it. So I'm going to spot treat a little spot and see if maybe this will become like a secret weapon. So, and it's wool light, so I'm thinking it's more gentle than, you know, a harsh chemical carpet remover, stain remover. Okay, so we're going to hand wash all of this vintage. And we're going to start by filling up our tubs with water these are five gallon tubs and i just fill them up as much as i can with water to submit the dresses i'm adding a little cupful of 
oxyclean to my mix so i just dissolve that by hand and i'm just gonna insert all the same colored dresses these are all peach colored dresses into the soak and let it soak for about an hour um this is actually not vintage it's a pro novia's barcelona dress it's a bridesmaid's dress and it just has a little um i guess just dirtiness at the bottom of the dress it's a floor length dress so i'm assuming somebody wore it and it just got a little dirty on along the hemline this is a beautiful St. John, a vintage St. John. It's a knit, but it's a beautiful peach color. So it's perfect for spring and it just needs a freshen up from, you know, sitting in my dead pile for a little too long. So after I submit them in the water, I just agitate it for a few moments and I will let it soak. So in my second tub, I'm also going to fill it up with water. This is for that 50s dress that is a little too stiff. I'm going to add some vinegar to the mix, distilled vinegar to the fresh water. And the vinegar is going to act as a softener. And I've already stain treated it, so all I have to do is soak it with the vinegar. So hopefully it softens up actually before i add the vinegar i'm gonna add some oxyclean and i'm gonna give it another oxyclean bath just because i keep finding stains all over this dress so one more oxyclean bath before we do the vinegar soak and here i am one hour later rinsing each dress so i think this is the hardest part then the soaking obviously with the soaking you just have to let it soak there but now when you rinse i have to rinse multiple times just to make sure that i get all of the detergent out all of the vinegar out so i do rinse it a couple of times before i let it air dry so the, these are just cups of me rinsing Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing as many times as I can. And you want to remove the detergent because if any detergent remains on the dress, um, it's more likely to stiffen up the dress. And you don't want that. You want the fabric to be completely clean, right? It's like washing your hair with shampoo and conditioner. You need to completely remove it or else you're going to end up with residue in your hair. That's the exact same principle that comes down to clothing, right? Thoroughly wash, thoroughly rinse. And now finally, the last step of the process is to let them air dry. So I just hang them up on hangers and then hang them around my porch. And I will leave them overnight. So it's about 8 p.m. now and i will hopefully they will dry overnight and they'll be ready to steam in the morning and remove any wrinkles and get them ready to list so as you can tell i mean in this video it's minutes but this took hours it took hours to spot treat them um another hour for them to soak the other dress had multiple soaks i did like three rounds of soaking so as you can tell this is a lot of work and this is only four dresses you know now imagine just racks and racks and racks of vintage so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions list them down below i will be happy to help I always ask my vintage dealer friends for help and assistance with cleaning and I am more than happy to help anyone out. So this is the morning after and look at these beautiful clean dresses. I'm so excited to get them listed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like, subscribe for new videos. I'm here every Wednesday and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.